CBS 46, your vaccine team, and now to today's top COVID-19 headlines. A lot to go over here. That is Supreme Court Justice Amy Coney Barrett, and it fell on her to rule on uh, a, a, an issue involving the University of Indiana. She refused to block a plan by the university to require students and employees to get the vaccine. This is the first time the court has weighed in on a vaccine mandate. Canada will soon require people traveling between provinces to get vaccinated. That includes all commercial air travelers and passengers on trains and cruise ships as well. And eight states, including Georgia, make up for half of the COVID-19 related hospitalizations across the U.S. A CDC advisory committee recommending a third shot of the vaccine for some people with weakened immune systems. CBS 46's Megan Packer is live for us at CDC headquarters again today. And Megan, you listened in on that meeting today. What was said? Right, uh, Rick, they discussed this for hours today, but that CDC advisory panel ended up unanimously recommending that additional dose for people with weakened immune systems, a very vulnerable population. And within the last few minutes, I can tell you, we just learned the CDC director signed off on that. At this point, though, these experts are not ready to recommend a booster for everybody else. 11 yeses, zero noes. Uh, and the eyes have it and the recommendation is adopted. With that, a CDC advisory panel joined the FDA in recommending an additional dose of the COVID vaccine for certain people with compromised immune systems who may have had a poor response to their first two shots. This only applies to the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines. They do not yet have enough data to determine whether people who received the Johnson & Johnson shot should get a second dose. I want to be the first in line for that booster shot. Any extra protection, uh, it's just necessary. It's just responsible. The guidance is directed at moderately and severely immunocompromised people, such as organ transplant recipients. It weakens your immune system. David Manuel is going on seven years with a new liver and takes extra precautions with his weakened immune system. And now he will add this to the list. I take vitamins. I take uh, immune boosters. But knowing that there's a vaccine out there that can boost what we've already taken, uh, gives me a sigh of relief. Doctors say everyone else who is fully vaccinated does not need another shot for now. The evidence still tells us that if you've been vaccinated, you know, over the course of this campaign, which really just started on December 15th, you should still be well protected by the vaccine that you received. Now, the Georgia Department of Public Health is holding off for now on administering these third shots until they get a little more guidance from the CDC and get a full list of conditions that would make somebody eligible for this. In the meantime, they're telling you to have a conversation with your doctor if you have any questions about it. Reporting live outside of the CDC headquarters, Megan Packer, CBS 46 News. Megan, thank you.